What's going on guys, Rye Flawless here, and today I'm going to bring you a VGC 2019 Ultra Series battle, but before we get into that, I just wanted to show off some of this really creative and hilarious artwork that Pokemon Showdown did for April Fool's Day. Um, but without further ado guys, let's get into the battle. Alright guys, let's take a good look at his team. He has an Incineroar, a Weavile, a Tapu Fini, a Ferrothorn, a Rayquaza, and a Dawnwings Necrozma, which honestly Dawnwings Necrozma has really been uh, uh, difficult for me in this format. Just because I don't really use Legendary, so the format overall is pretty difficult for me. So I lead Smeargle and Xerneas as he leads uh, his Weavile and Tapu Fini. I led this way because I felt like I could get a Spore off or I could get my Geomancy set up. And so he starts with a Fake Out into the Smeargle as I get my Geomancy off. And then he doubles into my Smeargle, taking it out, which is fine. I have my Geomancy set up, so I'm, I'm pretty happy at this point. Although, I do make an error in this next play. So I go for the Fake Out into the Weavile, just to avoid some damage, because I feel like the Tapu Fini has less damage output if I don't get the KO here. And as you see, I missed by 5%. With the Moonblast, he crocs his berry and heals back up. As he goes for a Haze, that nullifies my boost from the Geomancy. So, I should have doubled into the Feeny. So then the Weavile leads his turn with the Icicle Crash. I go for a Low Kick and take out the Weavile. And then my Xerneas will go for the Moonblast and take out his Tapu Fini. Put me back into a pretty good position here with the Pokemon lead of 3 to 2. And so he sends out his Rayquaza and Donwing's Necrozma. I feel okay here um, because of the speed of my Kangaskhan. So he goes ahead and goes into Ultra Form and um, protects and I protect as well and there my crunch goes off into the Necrozma as his Rayquaza tailwinds which does make this setup a little bit scarier um, I will admit I switch out the Xerneas so Lunala can take a hit here as he goes for extreme speed into the Kangaskhan, I guess he doesn't want to go for Dragon Descent to lower his stats. As Necrozma goes for the Z move into Lunala, so I did make the right switch here as I resist it. And then my Crunch goes off, and I get about 49% plus the added um, boost from the Mega damage. And um, then I protect on the following turn uh, as he keeps up the extreme speeds into the Kangaskhan. And he goes to her Photon Geyser into Lunala. Right into my protect. And then my Crunch goes off and takes out the Necrozma. So doing pretty good here all he has left is the Rayquaza and you know he hasn't really been risky enough with it I think if he times some Dragon Ascent he could have had a much more successful run here uh, but now with his lowered defense and special defense um, it's easy to take him out so I go for the double edge and I go for the Z move the Z move alone probably would have taken him out um, with his lowered stats so Pretty much had the win at that point. But this was definitely a fun match. I think, you know, 
had had he been a little bit more aggra- aggressive, he would have been in a better spot. Um, had I not made the Lunala switch when I did, he might have been in a little bit better of a position. But it worked out really well in my favor. But thank you so much for battling me, Mr. Uh, Shaker 82 Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You're all flawless, and I'll see you next time. Bye.